How's it going everyone? So I started studying for my MCAT in about January 2019 and I took it at the end of May 2019. And since taking the MCAT, I've had so many people ask me what I did. Even after I got accepted to medical school, I still get people asking me what I did to study for that exam. And it's kind of funny because I actually tell them what I wish I had done to study versus what I actually did to study. Because while I was studying, I just found so many good resources and things that I wish I had done that I know I would have done better on the exam had I just done those resources and those like uh, study techniques. Granted, you know, I didn't do bad on the exam. I did good enough to get into med school, but I didn't like blow it out of the water or anything. I wasted a lot of time on content review. I think I spent like three to four months on content review and then didn't start doing like practice questions, like the actual official AAMC material until like the April. And then I took the exam in May and it was just a lot of wasted time. So I'm just gonna let you guys know what I wish I had done. First off, this exam is a lot less about how long you study for it and more about what you do while you're studying for it. So rather than break it up into a time period, I'm gonna break it up into phases. And then depending on how long you give yourself to study for the exam, you can kind of take these phases or kind of just take the material I kind of show in this video and use it for your own study plan. Keep in mind, everyone studies differently. So this might not work for you. These materials might not be good for you, but this is just what I wish I had done. And I know I would have scored a lot higher on the exam had I done it. So phase one would have been like no longer than a month. I would have started doing a little bit of content review by reading some of the books, maybe either Kaplan or Princeton. I did the Kaplan books. Now you can do whatever books you want. It really doesn't matter. As long as you're just kind of getting yourself reading and refreshing your memory on some of the subjects that you might not remember too well. I wasted so much time doing Anki cards while I was reading the subjects and I didn't do any of the cards. I made like 3,000 cards and I just didn't do a single one of them. So I recommend you just read them passively, get used to like the long intervals of studying, try reading for like, you know, half an hour and then an hour and then an hour and a half, which is the length of a full section. Just get yourself into that mindset that this is how long you'll be sitting per section on the MCAT. While doing content review and reading the Kaplan books or Princeton books or whatever you choose, I would also read through the 300 page Khan Academy Psychology and Sociology PDF. This PDF was amazing. I found it towards the end of my studying. I wish I had started with it. And basically everything I really needed to know for PsychSocial was just in this PDF, all the terms, everything. And someone on Reddit made Anki flashcards that go along with the PDF. So I'd read like 20 pages a day or something. And then right after those 20 pages, I would do the Anki cards that kind of matched up with them. And that's how I studied for that during content review. And then the other thing you want to do during this phase is start doing Jack Weston cards. Just do like maybe a cars passage at the beginning of the day, a cars passage before you go to bed and then just get used to sitting through a CARS passage, reading through it and doing the questions and just getting into that mindset of CARS. I didn't start studying CARS until like towards the end, like when I actually started doing practice exams and practice questions and I did the worst on my CARS section. If I had just done this from the beginning, I know I would have done so much better on CARS. My concentration would have been better. I just would have been more used to that style of questions. And if you do this, you will thank yourself when it comes time for the exam. Even if you're not taking your exam yet, like if your exam's not for like another year, start doing like one CARS passage a day or maybe a couple times a week and just get used to CARS. It's not something you can really study for. It's just something you can practice. I promise you, you will not regret it by starting CARS now. So that's it for phase one. Content review, psych social PDF along with Anki cards and Jack Weston cards practice. Next up is phase two, and this is where you just do a bunch of practice questions. Now this is where I messed up the most. I spent like three to four months on content review and didn't start doing practice questions until like two months, month and a half prior, when the exam is less about how much you know versus how well you can take the exam and have the stamina to get through it and just do a bunch of practice questions prior to taking the exam. Now my biggest regret was not doing UWorld for my practice questions. I didn't even know about UWorld up until like the month before my exam at which I had no time to do it because I was already doing the AMC practice material. But all the people on Reddit who said they had done UWorld between taking their exam the first time and taking it the second time said that they were like increasing their scores by like 10 points just by doing UWorld in that time. UWorld has like a 1900 question question pack for like 250 bucks, really good price point. And if you just do it like 59 questions at a time, which is how many questions are on each section of the MCAT, you will immediately do yourself a favor by getting used to how long you'll have to sit in each section and how many questions you'll have to do per. And apparently their explanations are so, so good and that people were just talking nothing but good things about UWorld questions. And then review all those questions you get wrong and make a Google sheet. I'll post an example of my Google sheet where you put things you got wrong or things that you were kind of iffy on, put the topic, put the explanation and really keep a good Google sheet of all the things that you need to kind of go back over when you finish all your practice questions. 
The next practice material I want to use is the AMC practice material. Now this is the most relevant practice material you can use for studying for the MCAT. It's made by the people who make the MCAT and I think it was like $300 but it comes with like four practice exams, a bunch of question packs, like so many question packs. It probably took me more than a month just to get through the AMC material. And then just like with UWorld, as you go through it, review all your questions thoroughly and actually start doing a Google Sheet for AMC with all the things you got wrong, all the things you were kind of iffy on, and then later on you'll review that Google Sheet rather than have to go back through each individual question. Alongside with doing UWorld and the AMC question packs, keep doing your PsychSoc flashcards from the Anki 300 page document. You should have finished the 300 page document in the first phase and now you're just redoing the flashcards when Anki cycles them back in. And then any days that you're not doing cars practice questions from either UWorld or um, AMC, you're gonna do the Jack West in cars as well. Cars, you just wanna build up that stamina. Just keep practicing cars consistently over the entire time you're studying for the MCAT and you will thank yourself on exam day when you're not like glazing over all the passages and not even paying attention to what you're reading, which is exactly what I did when I did the car sections. Now phase three is all about doing practice exams and this is the point you want to get to because there's no better way to study for the MCAT than just to do practice exams and just get used to the question styles, get used to having to sit there and do 59 questions at a time, take like a 10 minute break, do another 59 questions, doing a full passage cars, everything. Schedule your exams during this phase, set aside eight hours in a day, do the entire exam just like you would do it if you were actually taking the exam. Don't do like half the exam, just do the entire thing. You want to build up that stamina, I promise you. You will regret it if you walk into exam day and you're not used to sitting there for seven and a half hours only thinking about the exam. When you finish the practice exam, take the rest of the day off, don't do anything, just kind of relax. And then the next day, start going through each section of your exam, every single question, build a Google sheet with all the things that you were kind of iffy on, the things you got wrong, with the explanations, the topic, and again, like you can take a look at my Google Sheet, like I really had a bunch of stuff on here. It was all color coordinated with red being the hardest stuff, green being things that I got right that were kind of easy, but I just want to refresh myself later, and yellow being like that medium difficulty. During this phase, on the days that you're not doing full length practice exams, review your psychosocial flashcards on Anki, keep reviewing your Google Sheets of all the things that you've gone wrong in the past because they're likely to come up on future practice exams, and keep doing full length Jack Weston cars. Do nine full passages every day that you're not doing a practice exam because you want to keep that car stamina up, I promise you. I ended up doing roughly seven practice exams during this. I think I did like three Kaplan exams, which were really, really hard and definitely not as hard as the actual exam or any of the AMC material. And then I did like four AMC practice exams, which are way more indicative of how you're going to do on the actual exam. I actually scored exactly on the exam how I did on those practice exams and I, they just help so, so, so much. That's it for phase three, which again is the most important phase of studying for the MCAT. At the end of this phase, you should kind of have an idea of how you're gonna score on the MCAT, and you should either feel pretty relaxed, or you'll know, okay, I could have done a lot more studying, or I could have studied a little bit better. Um, you're always gonna have regrets. You're always gonna think, man, if I could go back, I would have done this, this, or this, which is why I made this video, so that you guys don't make some of the mistakes I made, but you're gonna make your own mistakes along the way, and that's just kind of the way this all works. Now, the week leading up to the exam is technically phase four, and this is where you just relax. Review your Google Sheets of all the things you kind of need to go back over. Um, do maybe one or two full-length Jack Weston cars, but really you wanna spend a lot of time just relaxing. You know, you just spend months studying. You don't wanna overwhelm yourself before the exam because you're gonna be exhausted and you don't wanna go into exam day super tired. When it comes to PsychSoc, there's actually a 100 page version of the 300 page document. That's kind of the 300 page document just like really condensed and kind of takes a lot of the fluff out. I would read through that on your last week. Don't do flashcards, just passively read through it, maybe like 20 pages a day. At this point, it should be really easy to read through because you've done all the flashcards, you read the 300 page version. You should be able to kind of get through the 100 pages and be like, okay, I know all of this, this is pretty chill. And then just focus on getting on a good sleep schedule. Wake up every day at the same time you'd wake up for the exam, get a good night's sleep, get a good eating schedule, get some snacks for the exam, spend time with friends, relax. Just like the day before the exam, don't do anything, just relax. Go through your day, do some chores, you know, work out if you need to. Just don't study the day before your exam. You want to kind of come in bright-eyed and bushy-tailed on that day. And you should feel relaxed. There's really nothing you can do on the week before the exam that's really going to impact your score. So don't get too neurotic about it. Just kind of trust in what you've done so far and trust in how you did on your practice exams, especially the AAMC ones, because that's probably how you're going to score on the exam. And if you don't feel amazing about that, like if you're scoring like sub 500 
on the week before the exam, maybe consider rescheduling. But if you're scoring a score that you'd be okay with applying with, especially if your school averages are around that ballpark range, just relax. Just enjoy that week before the exam. And then after the exam, just do nothing. Do nothing for the next few weeks. Just, you know, if you got classes to take, finish those classes. Don't even think about the exam because there's nothing you can do for the month while you wait for your score. So that you, you might as well just not stress. After my exam, I didn't even feel anxious. I just felt more relieved that the exam was done and that weight of having to study was just off my shoulders. And then you're done. You'll get your exam score in about a month and then you'll kind of know like, all right, did I do enough to apply to med school or should I go back, maybe apply another cycle, maybe take it again in a few months? That's up to you at that point. Again, this is just how I wish I had studied for the exam. If I could go back in time, this is exactly how I would have done it. It might work really well for you or this plan might not. And everyone just learned a little bit differently. So make sure, you know, take these resources into consideration, do your own research on them, but really come up with a plan that works best for you. I'm gonna have links to all the resources I talked about in this video in the description below. So just kind of check that out, look them up, see if they're good for you. Besides that, I hope this video helped. If you have any more questions, just comment below or shoot me a DM. I'd be happy to help you. I just wanna make sure you do as best on the exam as you can and definitely do better than how I did. Don't forget, your application is more than just your MCAT. You shouldn't be only worried about your MCAT when it comes to getting into medical school. There's so many other factors. The MCAT just kinda of gets you on the desk. So really focus on your entire application as a whole and don't get too caught up on this exam. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.